start. Okay, here we are. LKB Research. My name is Peter Bruninger. Hi. Your name is? I'm Bill Hutchins. Hi, Bill. And uh, what's the name of your company? LKV Research. And where are you based out of? Out of uh, North Conway, New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, what are you showing at the show? Uh, we are showing uh, our phono stage, the phono preamp, and a prototype of our uh, line, line stage, uh, line level preamp. Well, the phono preamps are the place to be right now. Phono is catching back on. And uh, indeed, indeed, yeah. No, it's 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 actually amazing. And let's take a look inside. Okay, this is what we. This is a, our phono stage. We call this the Phono 2SB. Mm -hmm. um, it has a separate power supply. You can see there's no uh, transformer in here. But uh, what we have in here is uh, two separate boards for the two different channels. Okay. It's dual mono from the power in point. Got it. Here. It operates both, if you look at the back panel here, it operates both balanced and single-ended in and out. Okay. And you can use it in any combination. You'll get the very lowest noise operating single, uh, excuse me, operating balanced in and balanced out, but it really works just fine either way. How much is the gain, the overall gain on the unit? The gain, it has three options, mid, high, and low. Uh, low is uh, 40 dB, mid is 50, and the high is 60 dB. Okay, so then you can use that with a, a 0.4 millivolt output cartridge, no sweat. Um, I use it all the time with a 0.3 output, okay. with no okay. problem at okay. all. Okay, very good, good. Um, so yes, and in fact, We've had a few customers who have very low output cartridges or very or not very much gain on their preamps and so uh, at no charge we will modify the gain steps for them if they like that. Okay. Because we sell this direct over okay. the internet Okay. Uh, with a 30 day money back uh, option okay. and so you can try it in your own system which to me is the only way you can really figure out how it's going to sound. I agree, you. particularly with a phono stage, because you're mixing and matching everything that's actually behind the phono stage and also in front of the phono stage, because it kind exactly. of sits in the midpoint, you know? Exactly, yeah. and that's, yeah. that's what you've got right here. You know, it's sitting in the midpoint, and you can, you can like the sound here, but is are you you know are you liking the speakers? What are you liking? That's exactly you know? right. Yeah, yeah. Or if you don't like it, you know, or you're not mm -hmm. liking the room. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I that seems to be a useful thing. It also lets us keep the price down as low as we possibly can, consistent with having really really good sound. What is the direct price currently today? Uh, direct price is twenty five hundred dollars. That's a great price point. And how about cartridge loading? Do you uh, accommodate that? Oh yes. Uh, again, it's on the board to keep all the signal traces as short as possible, mm -hmm. so we have minimum noise. But these these little shunts right down here, the red ones, you move those to different positions to choose the cartridge loading you want, from about 65 ohms in several in quite a few steps up to 2,000, and then from there it jumps up to 47. 0.5 for moving magnet. Well, shunning is a good approach over uh, dip switching because some of the dip switches are inexpensive and cheap and fail over time. Where shunting, you just kind of just stick it in and it'll do its thing and you pull it out. Yeah, it, that's that's absolutely right. The other thing is, the other thing is when when we measured it, these shunts were just a little bit quieter than the switches that we were using. So I yanked them out and put yep. in the shunts. And it makes sense. You know, maybe not by itself something you'd hear, but what the approach here is just to make everything as good as we can, and it adds up ultimately over time, so over the whole chain, the whole uh, game chain, so that it, it, it really makes a difference. Oh, well, good. Show us the system here, please. Sure. This is a BPI Classic 2 Special Edition turntable that Harry Weisfeld has loaned to us for this show. Uh, it's mounted with my Lyra Delos cartridge, which is about half a millivolt out. That's feeding into, it's going single-ended into the phono stage. 
And the phono stand Which is, is down here, here. Right here. Right underneath. That's the Phono 2SB. Okay. And that we're going balanced out of that into our prototype line preamplifier. And how long have you been working on that? I've been working on that for six, eight months. And we'll probably bring that out at the end of the year. The circuitry is all set. I've got some questions about the hardware and some of the convenience features. But that pr the line preamp will have two levels of gain. You can select two levels of gain. It'll also be single-ended or balanced in and out. Mm -hmm. And it also has a third option where you, you have to have a straight wire that bypasses the gain, goes through the, poten the stepped attenuator, and then through the output stage. Mm -hmm. So it's what some people call a buffered passive preamp mm -hmm. in that mode. Mm -hmm. And my theory is you want to use as little gain as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, because the worst thing you can do is make gain attenuated, make gain attenuated, because all you're doing is making distortion mm -hmm. you don't need. Mm -hmm. um, in any event, we're then coming down here. We've got Sonny Rollins on here right now. We're coming down here to an old Conrad Johnson Premier 11, uh, which I've had in my personal system for years and years. And we're coming out of that through Kimber cables into these MagnaPan 1.7s. Yeah, uh, we have a reviewer, Zach Galarza, who owns a pair of these and adores them. Great speakers. I really like them. I got them uh, specifically so we could use them at this show because hmm. I wanted I want something that didn't have a huge amount of bass because it's easier to set up in a room like this without a whole lot of bass. You know, it's a relatively small room, you know, and I think it's been very successful. And, and we've had a real good response to it. We had people come in here. Yesterday we had somebody came in, we played uh, uh, pictures in an exhibition for him, and he says, my God. I never knew it could sound like that. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And then he said, I just bought a phono stage two days ago. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, let's, ah. let's spin up some vinyl. We brought some Anne Besson. So uh, uh, let's, uh, let's get the record out and uh, give it a spin. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Thank great. you very much, Bill. Sure. Thanks a lot, Peter. I really okay. appreciate it. That's okay. great. Let's do uh, drop a needle down on Anne Besson. And a little bit more volume, please. And uh, more. a little bit more, please. Yeah, that'll be fine. Good. Okay. My mind is cool and 
face Just close your eyes a while Let snowflakes from the sky And touch and kiss your mouth and smile Cause you LKV Research, a new player in the Thunder Stage Marketplace. Very good sound, very fast and articulate, and very layered in depth. Excellent. Thumbs up.